Hello everyone and welcome back to our continuing series on Mass Effect 3. We are going to the Citadel and we were in the middle of arguing with Liar but in these early portions of the game they really they really don't want you to be able to hit the pause button at any point. I'm a soldier. I should be back on earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Shepard. Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. Oh, yeah. A hell of a short war if they don't. Of course they will. So is this a good time to give my thoughts on the Prothean device? I, I... Like, it makes sense to me that the Protheans would have tried to build a giant weapon, but because this just giant weapon comes out of nowhere and it seems, it's like too easy, not not much of our game is actually developed to, is devoted to, you know, the struggle to build the weapons, all it just gets built off screen. This is kind of dumb. If there had at least been a hint about it in Mass Effect 1 or 2, I might, I might have, uh... Barely got a pulse here. I might have bought, bought it more. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial? Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So you're here to bring us to the council? I'm here to tell you the council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Yeah, screw Caden. We're going to the council first. Meeting with the council is our top priority. I'll head up to Adina's office now. Meet you there. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. <laughs> I'll see you around, Shepard. I love no Bailey's doubt. just the burnt out, giving up on everything mm -hmm. cop. <laughs> All right, so we can uh, we can explore now. Oh man. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. It was lasting on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? She did, didn't she? Why would she be here unless she's seeing the council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard! <sighs> All right. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience. But that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. 
Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. I always, I always thought that they needed a one of the options right there needed to be. I don't have the best track record with journalists. Dot dot dot. <laughs> oh hey, we got our first war asset. I'll, I'll, I'll explain what those are in a bit. Okay. First deployment is somewhere near Palavan. Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. So, how am I supposed to talk with you then? Yeah, I'll listen. We'll eavesdrop on a couple of the conversations going on. Uh, is there anybody over here? Yeah, so I th part of the thing is uh, the people. The Batarians just get wiped. Like it happens off screen, the Batarians just get wiped by the Reapers almost immediately, and then they hit Earth next. Alright. Because remember, they they have they arrive in Batarian space. That was the whole point of us uh, destroying that relay in Mass Effect 2, is because like, they're going to arrive there, and we managed to delay them with that. Alright, let's go to the Citadel embassies first. Because, uh, screw Caden. He's a jerk. I don't care if he's dying. Hmm. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Okay. Let's see. There will, and there will be tons and tons of side quests, so there will be a lot of redundant me. Please tell the primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the Human Alliance. Okay. Blah bitty blah bitty blah. None of these guys. Okay, well, and we'll do, we'll do all these side quests eventually. already I told you about his mission and nonsense I just filled out the paperwork he's very punctual when he's on the field he checks in every week only he hasn't checked in for a while now a month anyway I'd like to file an expedited contact request yes of course ma'am but the notes on his file state he's not... Yeah, understood. there's lots of sad conversations that make you think, Oh my god, the galaxy is burning around us. Going on, okay. Let's come up here. And we'll talk to... what uh, We can talk to Commander Bailey. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jelani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. <laughs> Damn press. See, so you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. If you remember from the uh, Shadowbroker DLC, there is significant uh, blackmail material on Bailey, and Cerberus thought they would be able to recruit him, which is why he got that promotion. But he doesn't know that. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. 
If that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here in my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. All right. Well, we did that. Any goodies to pick up in the office? Nope. Hmm. Okay, we don't want to go into uh, Udina's office yet. Anything we can pick up right here? We can go into the uh, specter area right here. And let's come over here. First thing we do, specter requisitions. No, not any of these. Can't afford them. Terminal. All right, welcome. Welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. The terminal offers secure information access and support for authorization of covert operations or requisitions. It is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tactics and reconnaissance. Any operation requiring payment can be executed at the terminal nearby, which supports secure and untraceable financial transactions. Alright, and this just says that the Corians pulled back all their pilgrims before the war actually started. And you ain't going to be seeing any Corians around right now. The Corian, all the Corians said, "Get okay, hey, get back to the migrant fleet." Gee, I wonder what they could uh, they could be up to if every Corian was pulled back from the galaxy. All right, let's go talk to Kareem Al Jelani or whatever her name was. Commander Shepard, Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Should I punch her? Commander Shepard, Kalisa bent seen in Al Jelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? The same thing I've been doing for the past three years. Find a way to stop the Reapers. Get some help, Kalisa. I have work to do. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cloud. Oh. I, I should have done the, uh... I should have done the, uh... Whatchamacallit... Actually, can I load? Autosave, Citadel. I, need, I needed to, uh... Whoopsie. Oh, ba -da -da -da. Okay, we already... Got that, come up here. Sorry about that guys, sometimes I forget you know, what you do and don't have to do to get a uh, dialogue option. Apparently on her we had to do an interrupt of some sort. Let's go to Citadel Embassies, load up, and we'll just be able to skip all the dialogue. Get up here, unlock our little bonus, whatever. Blah 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 blah. Okay, yep, there we go. We got the journal updated. Ah, oh, crap. Now we gotta go talk to Bailey real quick. Oh, also, uh, this is a good time to chance since we're just bumming around right now. Uh, I noticed in the last video, because I, I do try to do a little bit of proofreading on each video. I don't watch the whole things, but there I watched them no a little end. bit. Yes, we already saw well, this. Fine. Blah 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 blah. Not even sure why you picked. Blah 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 blah. There we go. Okay. So we're going to sometimes do renegade options, sometimes do paragon options. Basically, we're doing whatever it gives us the maximum war assets. Okay, come down here. Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying, but I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. 
You may be a violent thug, but I'm glad you're on our side. <laughs> the there we go. All right. And there's nothing to do in there. All right, let's go. Let's go do our little our meeting with the council. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... it would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with you, Dina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Now, oh, go figure. The council was useless. What a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Bedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Bedorian undetected. I told you this would happen, and you did nothing. We can argue the past later, if you like. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future, the fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <sighs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. An 
and various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. See, uh, I like how, you know, it doesn't matter at all whether you chose Anderson or Udina in the first game because they just, they write it so, you know, no matter what, Udina becomes the ambassador anyway in this game. So it's, it's, it's annoying things like that that made, uh, think, I th writing in Mass Effect 3 not as good as Mass Effect 2 because, like, on an individual level, the character interactions is just as good as Mass Effect 2. It's that the it's like the how they chose to bring in like all the decisions that they've been making such a big deal about, like how they just kind of like threw them away and nothing really and they don't really matter. Like it doesn't matter whether you blew up the uh, Ra Reaper base or not. That has no consequence over the, other than that one line of dialogue with the uh, with the elusive man in, in another one when uh, you go to assault the base or you know. Hey, it doesn't matter who you chose as the ambassador in Mass Effect 1 because Udina will be the ambassador for Mass Effect 3. So, you know, annoying little things like that. All right, let's go talk to the little piece. The, the squirm. The rat. Saved their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites in the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Solarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans. And there's a need there. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone... <laughs> he sounds very upset. I should go. I'll be here. Okay, are there any goodies here that we can take? Any goodies out here? Oh, look, it's the uh, it's the Presidium. I think down there is like where a lot of uh, Mass Effect One took place. Well, anyway, okay, now we can leave. Come over here. Bye, bye, Udina. We'll pop by the Spectre place again, see if uh, what I want has unlocked. Let me in. Get out of my way. Now is the thing unlocked? No and no. Crap. 
Alright. Okay. No, don't ex enter the shooting range. Um. Come over here. Get over here. Uh, I think we got. I guess we gotta visit the uh, hospital now. Or something. Disgrace Commander Shepard, eh? Mr. Newsman, how about you go screw yourself? Hey, what up, James? Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that? <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy. I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, we will, we will, baby. Okay, uh, have we, does that mean we've unlocked more places to go? Nope, we haven't. Darn, okay. Uh, I guess we'll go to the Huerta Memorial Hospital. Yeah, there's a couple of people I think that we can talk to here, maybe. Or not. Oh, okay, well there's Chakwas, so that's Welcome something. Let's buy Thank you for this. To How can we help you? And buy this. Thank you for shopping. Okay. Let's go talk to the docks. Yo, what up, Doc? Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How is he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Hmm. Somebody's got to be the mother hen for the Normandy, because Shepard, Shepard's uh, not really the mothering type. Let's go talk to Dr. Michel. You remember her from the Commander first game? Shepherd, good to see you. Dr. Michel, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. 
I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just under oil. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. I'm afraid I'll have to speak with CSEC about securing our supplies. Desperate people can do desperate things. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Alright, we got that done. So now I guess we'll go we'll go visit Caden. conversations in here nope guess we haven't unlocked these side quests yet nothing in here great uh, which one of these is Caden's room is this Caden's room yeah I like how Caden has his shirt off but if you have Ashley she's like completely dressed whatever okay so I don't have any of these side conversations yet Hi, doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Medigel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But I, I, I don't understand. It, it doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers we did it. Okay, yeah, he lost a leg. Alright. Can I do anything in here? No. Okay, I guess I have to stop bumming around. Let's talk to Caden. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. Since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Get your ass out of this bed and back to your post, Major. Seeing you in action again reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. No, 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 we couldn't. He's useless. You need anything, Doc, let me know. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that doctor definitely needs anything from you. You, you. you definitely are the person he would need to get something from. And that's an order. <laughs> Alright. Now, okay, we can leave here. So I think we can go back to, uh... I think we can go back to... The Normandy now. We'll see. We'll see about, uh... I think there's one person on the Mor Normandy we have to meet. We'll explore the new Normandy a bit. And then we will go to Palavan. Let's go here. I yeah, want uh, Normandy Docking Bay D24. Okay. Fine, this is fine. Nobody to talk to here, nobody to talk to here. Already got Diana Allers. So it looks like we can uh, ship out then. Let's head up to Normandy. Turn to Normandy, yes. Oh god, I gotta do this stupid freaking dark ah, dream sequence. <sighs> D24. 
These are mind numbing and boring. Okay. Chase the kid. Chase the kid that I don't care about. That got roasted. Better call him a peanut. Because he got roasted. And he's small. Get it? <laughs> I amaze myself sometimes. Alright. Jeez, kid. That is definitely not some uh, effect of running. Alright, we'll come back this way. Man, look at look at Shepard's face. She's just she's just so emotional about this. She can't she can't handle it. Alright. What do you want from us, kid? Roasted. Again! <laughs> yeah, Shepard is traumatized. They needed a way to humanize the, all the loss of the people, so they focused on this one kid that Shepard keeps focusing on. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? Just shaking off some sleep. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private yes, terminal. Yes, Sh Shepard understands how that works. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. And <laughs> there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. All right, we can do that. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. 
The Council's been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Man, this episode is going to be like some of the old school Mass Effect 1 episodes where, you know, we just spent entire episodes wandering around talking to people, not doing anything. Okay. Uh, first, let's go to the war terminal. We'll learn about this. War assets. The people, weapons, and armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the battle. All right, our galactic readiness rating right now is 53%. It'll be bumping up in between each video. Okay, so what do we got in the Lance right now? The Alliance Engineering Corps. The Alliance Engineering Corps cut roads through the mountains and builds bases on the asteroids. Yeah, there's, there's lots of stuff. Uh, First Fleet, Third Fleet, and Fifth Fleet all are down one-third strength because uh, we pr uh, protected the uh, Citadel in Mass Effect 1. Diane Allers is here. Uh, we have Kalisa Bensinan Al-Jalani. Uh, because we didn't punch her in the face again. The Normandy apparently counts as 115 on the other, and we got some extra war assets because we upgraded with all that technology. And because we did a whole lot of scanning. Uh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Great. Well, that's the end of war assets. Uh, I think we got to do a little bit more ship explorer Titan though. Nobody up here to talk to, so let's come out here. Oh, we got to start also collecting our our stuff. It's hidden all around the ship right now. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Cessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. All right, these guys are, you know, the guards of the war room, I guess. they We have to step through that each time, you Commander, know. The Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. All right, what up, trainer? Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. We're in the middle of a war, Specialist. We've got bigger problems than finding a toothbrush. Understood, Commander. And to be clear, I'm happy to be here. If I can help with the comm system and get you the intel you need to win this war, I'll have done more than I ever did in the lab. Was there anything else? I do end up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. O although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. <laughs> yeah, of course you will. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources. 
and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. No, no one says GUI. No one says GUI. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Carry right. on, Specialist. You can run Romance Trainer if you're a Femshep, and you can also Romance Diane Allers, but I don't know if we're going to do that. We're romancing Garrus, because Garrus is our homeboy. And we'll have Garrus at the end of the uh, Palavan mission. All right, let's go talk. Let's go talk to Seth Green. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. <laughs> Alright, you gotta be careful. It is possible to glitch into this little metal thing right here and the only way to get out of it is to have Edie available for conversation, so we're, we're going to be careful about walking over there right now. And Edie doesn't have a body yet, so we're not doing that. Okay. I'm not walking over there. I'm not walking over there yet. Let me come in here. Is any of my stuff hidden right here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Whew. So it looks like we got to go explore Taton on the other levels. Oh, fine. I'll read the private messages. Email. Oh, God. There's so many. Spec Ops. Steve From Stephen Hackett. Shepard. Alliance forces are stretched thin across the galaxy. We need your specific talents for a series of ops. These missions will open doors for the Alliance in places we can't touch through conventional means. We'll deploy operatives to hold point after you've completed your objectives. I need you to head to a service lab on the planet Sanctum. I'll brief you there when you're inbound. Great. All right. Reinstatement. From Stephen Hackett. Commander Shepard. This letter formally acknowledges your reinstatement into the Alliance Navy per Admiral David Anderson's recent verbal communication. Under Emergency War Powers Regulation 903.5, you are hereby authorized to assume command of the Normandy SR-2. You are directed to begin an interdiction operation against any and all enemies posing a threat to Earth, its colonies, and its allies. Furthermore, you are granted diplomatic authority to establish treaties with non-human races as required to support your mission. <laughs> they just think, think about, like how broad like that means it's like the single most powerful order you can you you are you have the authority to make any treaty you see fit with any race in the entire galaxy it's just it's a one paragraph in any map. i've always found that a little bit funny all right emergency flash traffic urgent all alliance military personnel this is a galaxy wide alert for all human territories fleet admiral hackett has declared threat condition saber one enemy presence confirmed in soul system earth under reaper attack all alliance military personnel are directed to evacuate soul systems at first available opportunity uh, do not attempt earth approach heavy enemy resistance reported repeat do not attempt earth approach further instructions to follow on coded channels crimson tacit earth-based alliance personnel unable to evacuate are directed to commit any and all necessary countermeasures all remaining alliance personnel outside soul theater are directed to muster at pre-appointed staging areas and commence offensive combat operations at first available opportunity subject my dog dear commander I was a contractor working in the Normandy's hap haptic interface when I it was in dry dock. Your VI ED emailed me to let me know I left my dog Mac on board. I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now, and you would hate for you to go a million clicks out of your way to just drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring, sniffing, and chemical trails in 750 volt outlets. Thank you, and sorry for the trouble. I promise she won't be too much of a headache. So we got a little we got a little astromech dog in the uh, in the armory. From Lieutenant D. Eugene, your VIED put in a request to me for a handful of N7 grade weapons. Happy to oblige. I led the engineers who retrofitted the Normandy when it was turned over to the Alliance. ED kept me company when we were overhauling the Normandy's interior. She's a beautiful ship commander. I'll miss working on her. I left the guns in your weapons locker. 
That comes from the uh, DLC uh, weapons. From Lear to Sony, Shepard, a few weeks ago I found an interesting schematic for a fully automatic sniper rifle called the Indra. The set I commissioned has been delivered to the Normandy. You can find the rifle on the weapons locker. The Indra will do far more good in your hands than it would sitting in a warehouse grate. A last news network news article, the Quarian Fleet, Citadel. Where is the Quarian Fleet? The latest intelligence shows that the Reapers are taking system after system at a feverish pace. Members of all races are fleeing their stations, colonies, and in some cases their home worlds. This kind of forced exodus might seem especially familiar to the nor nomadic Quarians who were pushed off their home world by the synthetic Geth creatures or centuries ago. But as the galaxy pushes back against the Reapers, the Quarians are conspicuously absent. Turian and Alliance spokespersons cannot provide the fleet's current location. They say if they have other concerns at the moment. Whatever the Quarians are up to, they want they want it kept sec secret from the Council. After a fueling stop at Ilium, the fleet left no stated destination. And there are also reports of a galaxy-wide call for all young adult Quarians to abandon their pilgrimages to rejoin the fleet. Greedy and short-sighted powers will always try to gain the upper hand in times of galactic crisis. We can only hope that whatever the Quarians are playing does not interfere with the only thing that should matter, stopping the Reapers. <laughs> or is it? Welcome back, Gift. From Edie, while we were in Dry Dock, Joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand should you be reinstated as commanding officer. As the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested, I chose something from the Official Systems Alliance catalog. Soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five years or more are entitled to a commemorative hooded jacket for work on off-duty hours. You'll find it among the selection of casual clothing in your cabin. We'll, get, we'll go remember to put that on. You have an upgrade waiting. From Glyph, Dear Commander Shepard, some of the data you found allowed me to research an upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal in Dr. Tassoni's office at your convenience, and you may choose how and when to implement it. Have a pleasant day, Glyph. And priority mission, Eden Prime from Alliance Command. Commander, Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime and is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony, but we've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, we've learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major Prothean artifact. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. We need you to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. We'll do that mission uh, after uh, we do Priority Palavan, but you can do it first. Uh, but... You know, we get an extra squad member if we do that, and uh, he can't say anything though, really, uh, until you do priority palvan. So it doesn't doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, let's go to the crew deck, and we can look at here. Here are all the people that died when the Normandy blew up last time, and we can also see where is uh, Richard L. Jenkins is on here and. Anybody else? Uh, William should be on here somewhere. Jenkins is on the left towards the, or is on the, yeah, it's on the left towards the bottom. And there's Ashley Williams on the top of the left. Cool. More names will get added to that. Uh, if in, any of your uh, people died in uh, the suicide mission, uh, they're added right there. There's the women's bathroom. I like how you know there's literally no privacy still. Like if th this opened up, you would just be able to see anybody taking a dump right there. Just saying. All right, in here. Are any of my old alliance things hidden here? Nope. All right. Wait, are we sure there's not one right here? Okay, fine. Uh, we've been in there. We've been in there. Let's go this way. Thane used to hide out here. Here's something, the Destiny the Ascension. Great. Here's the coffee cup from uh, when we were left over from when we were chit chatting with him. I, like I kind of want a cup of coffee right now. That'd be nice. Or maybe I should have a beer. Anyway, now there's a poker table and a bar. Or we already had the bar, but the poker table is new. Can I get trashed right now? No, it doesn't let me get trashed right now. Shame. Okay. And there's nothing hidden in here. Fine. All right. Let's go visit Liara. Yeah, what up, Liara? Come 
Commander Shepard. It's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. What up, Liar? Oops, I cut Joker off. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. We can figure out what it does later. Our priority is getting it built. Just give me some warning before you flip the switch. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt... Shepard, there's something I need to ask before we go any further. I know you and Gareth grew close. Is that in the past? Should I forget there was anything between us? You're getting dumped, Liara. A lot has happened since then, Liara. I don't think we'd work anymore. Really? I... Thank you for letting me know. I think it's best for both of us. Of course. Well, anyway, I should get down to business. There's a lot to do if we're to discover exactly what the Protheans left us. <laughs> Poor Liara, she just got dumped in favor of Garrus. Intel Terminal, all right, we got, we got some upgrades. You can get an ammo capacity bonus or a shield strength bonus. Uh, I think in this case, I want the ammo capacity. Shield strength also good though. A new notification is available on the private messages terminal. Let me get Liara. I want, I want to use your terminal. Hello again, Shepard. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Like three since seconds ago. Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. What's been happening with you as the Broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferron and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Ferron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work. And I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? 
I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. <laughs> we'll talk later, Liara. Of course. I wonder how long Asari graduate school is, because she she had only like recently gotten her PhD and she was like 113 years old or something. <sighs> anyway. Uh Okay, we're done. I guess we gotta go talk to Chakras. This video is getting long, but we're getting a lot of the uh, the chit chatty stuff out of the way. What up, Doctor? Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Have I ever told you I don't like doctors? Don't be such a grouch. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Your system is still detecting the implants as foreign bodies. There's no health risk, but your scars are having trouble healing. I recommend reducing stress levels. Be compassionate. <laughs> Given everything I've got, Doc. I'm just saying, a little more optimism and a little less realism could help, Commander. Anyway, it's just a cosmetic issue. Nothing to worry about. That's it. The other picture of health. How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. All right, let's go check out uh, the weird body. Body. The weird AI body. Okay, there it is. Can't do anything with it. Uh, are there any... Any hidden ships in here? No? Okay. Any hidden ships in here? I want I want my I want my toy ships. It's important to me. Okay. Are any of my toy ships hidden over here? No. I will come up here then. I do think one is hidden in up here somewhere. This is the room Garrus will be in doing his, you know whatever it is they do here oh maybe there isn't one in here I thought I thought that one of my model ships was hidden here I guess not though maybe maybe Garrus has to uh, be in the room before I can get it all right I think that's everything on this level so let's go let's go to the next one. Oh, oh and we could beat up uh, James hell yes I love beating up my subordinates Okay, let's check out this room. Is this where Diane Allers is? Yeah. Getting my stuff in your room. This was one foot locker worth of equipment. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. <laughs> Your story is Cerberus. They're a clear and present danger to everything we try to do. Alien audiences will hate them. Hmm. So they're traitors to Earth and the galaxy. I wouldn't have to torque it much. 
And you do have an inside track on Cerberus. All right, you feed me your info, and I'll keep fighting. Okay. Here we go, we got some renegade points. We improved our reputation score. Okay, we'll come in here. Hey, it's our old buddy engineer Adams. He was gone in the in ME2, but he's back in ME1 for ME3. Fortunately, uh, uh, none of our other engineers seem to be here. No tally, no cranky Scottish guy with the uh, girl. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, <laughs> you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Okay, we're done with... Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Alright, we've said hi to Adams. We'll be back in engineering eventually. Okay, I know for fact that there's stuff here, including the space hamster. There you Hey, get back here. Get, yeah, gotcha. Alright. A model Turian cruiser. Sovereign, okay. So that was two of them. Here's another one. Shatter Broker. Okay, so picked up three of my ships. Come up here. Go over here. Okay, we already talked to Allers. Can't go in that room quite yet. So we'll come down here then. To the shuttle bay. All right, and I think one of them is hidden back here. Yep, the model freighter. Uh, we're not gonna use the weapon bench yet. 
quarry and model ship. We'll talk to we'll talk to James in a second. I just want to do my due diligence. Mono Normandy SR1. Make sure there's none over here. Oh, we we need to get introduced to uh, Lieutenant Cortez too. Oh man, it's going to be a long video. It's going to be a longer video. But that's fine. Okay, nothing here. Weapons upgrades. Uh, before we talk to Cortez, is any of my stuff hidden over here? Yeah, look at that. Model Geth Cruiser, Model Alliance Cruiser. Bam. That might be all of the stuff now. Besides my fish. But we'll get, we'll get my fish back soon enough. Yeah, what's up, Cortez? Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios! Straight to business without even a hello? You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our Did supply Did you know these characters are Latino? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So... You're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible Did you know they're Latino? Making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Trident mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them. Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plate. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Oh yes, yeah, so our our uh, hammerhead. It go bye bye. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT forty seven A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick. So that's why you need a good pilot. You were stationed on Earth. You have family there. I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up the good work. Yes, Commander. Oh, and uh, we, we can also say hi to the doggo. Our doggo right here. What's up, doggy? Good dog. <laughs> okay, and we'll talk to... Uh... Jake. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. 
Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. No, oh, please enlighten us, James. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. It's, it's bad for well, your shoulders, the type of uh, pull-up he's doing right now. Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Nice. What do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. Tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You're a shrink, too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So, maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Uh, do I do I want James to call me Lola throughout the unit? If you're if you're male chef, you get a uh, called loco. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> you're cute, so I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. <laughs> all right. Did we, did we do it all? I, th I think. I think we've done everything. Great. We 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 might be actually be able to go to the next mission now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, when we return, we're gonna go to Palavan. Bye now.